by all accounts, Schaefer goes right back in the door into the ugly tuna Selena. And you can see him following the two women he meets just outside the door, and there's only one place to go, going in that direction, into the bar. No one disputes that. Oh, wait, how did we get here? In order to evaluate a missing person or a murder case, you start with knowing your victim, everything you can find out about the victim. It may have a huge impact on where they are and what happened to them. So who is Brian Schaefer? Listen. Brian Schaefer grows up in Baltimore, Ohio with his younger brother, Derek. After graduation, Schaefer stays close to home for college, pursuing a degree in microbiology at the University of Ohio. Randy and Renee Schaefer couldn't be more proud when their oldest son decides to attend medical school at his alma mater. In Brian Schaefer's second year, his mother diagnosed with a rare blood cancer. Three weeks before spring break, Renee succumbs to the disease. While her death is hard on Schaefer, 27, friends say he seems to be handling it well. The apple of his parents' eyes, Brian Schaefer, seemingly goes into a bar, and no one is disputing that. There he is with mom, and he never comes out. He vanishes. Impossible. There's got to be a logical explanation about what happened to Brian Schaefer. Um, straight out to Matthew Mangino, high-profile lawyer, joining us, former prosecutor, author of The Executioner's Toll, The Crimes, Arrests, Trials, Appeals, Last Meals, Final Words, Executions of 46 People Across the U.S. That's a mouthful. You're going to have to work with that title. You can find him at mattmangino.com. Matt, thank you for being with us. There's so many theories out there, and it, it doesn't matter what case you're dealing with. It could be... The Orenthal James Simpson double murder trial of O.J. Simpson. It could be the Karen Reed prosecution for the murder, the death, let me say, of her longtime boyfriend, a Boston cop. It, it, it can be Scott Peterson. The conspiracy theories that surround cases, especially when they're unsolved, abound. Just look online. So here we've got the same issue. A lot of conspiracy theories but we, you as a defense attorney, me as a former prosecutor, have to look at the hard evidence and make sense of it. This is not the first case I've encountered where someone goes into a building and never comes out. What do you make of this surveillance video? Well, Nancy, I think the most crucial aspect of this is those five minutes between 1.55 a.m., and when the bar closes at 2 a.m., you know, he has two friends inside the bar who say they leave at 2 a.m. looking for him and they wait outside there. Now, I, I don't know how big, uh, you know, this this uh, saloon is, but, you know, it, within five minutes, he's right outside the door, walking toward the door. They're coming out. They're waiting for him. You know, what transpires in those five minutes? That I think is the answer, you know, to this to this mystery. You know, what did anybody else well, see? The other if, thing is, I, I agree with you. Let me go straight out to Steve Fisher joining us, missing person private investigator, and you can find him at searchinvestigations.org. Steve, thank you for being with us. Listen, thank you. the guys with the two women. The two women go into the bar. He's following along behind him, and no matter how much I have scoured through witness statements and other surveillance video in the area, Ugly Tune is not the only one with a security cam. There's no evidence at all he ever leaves the bar. How do you explain that? It's literally like he turned into a ghost. I mean, as an investigator, this has everything that you want. Uh, like you mentioned, it, it has surveillance of all the uh entrances and exits including the back one and all the surrounding businesses have surveillance he's not captured on any of it it's it's bizarre i mean he left i mean it's extremely he's not there. bizarre steve and again and i'm, I'm going to touch on it later this is not the first time i've had a case where someone enters a building and is never seen alive again